you doing? Well, we're gonna try this right here, right? We're gonna grab some uh, Philadelphia cream cheese with chives and onion, right? This is one of these little containers, it's a spread. It's uh, seven and a half ounces. All right, we're gonna get that opened up. We're gonna get a large bowl. Uh-huh, we are, oh yeah, all right? Oh, it smells so good, right? We're gonna get all of that out into the large bowl. You knew it was coming, and it came early, but you just didn't know when, right? We're gonna take some Swiss shredded cheese, right? And we're gonna, this is just over one cup. It's one half cup, so I'm just gonna use it all, or you can just use one cup, right? We're gonna get that into the bowl, and we're gonna go ahead, this is a microwave safe dish. We're gonna microwave this thing until everything is all combined, smooth, melted. Okay, so that didn't even take long at all. I was like, every microwave is different, but it wasn't even like a minute, not even. We just did a bunch of intervals until it was all like this, all right? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a third, or a three-fourths of a cup of milk, all right? I'm gonna waste it, hang on. All right, now we're supposed to bring it in, all right? And we're just gonna start whisking that milk in. Alrighty, there it is. We just do it to it's as smooth as you can get it. I guess there could be a couple lumps still, and that's okay. We're gonna set that off to the side. Boom! We're gonna grab some of these right here. These are the Pillsbury Grants Flaky uh, Biscuits, right? Mm -hmm. There's eight of them in this thing. So now I gotta get scared when I open this bad Johnson. All right? Woo! <laughs> yeah, it was ready. Wow. I guess I didn't have to do a whole lot. So we're gonna go ahead and get all eight of them out of the container, on the cutting board, got them all out. We're just gonna go ahead, I guess, right? And we're going to cut them into like sixes or something like that, right? So it's basically some small pieces. That's four right there. Cut it here, that's is that six? Let's see, probably more than that, who knows, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, there it is, six of them. Six little pieces, that's all we're doing. All right, once we got them all cut up, I guess we need to slowly start to bring them into the mix and just kind of get them all stirred away and stirred in. Once we got it all mixed in there, right, the dough, we're gonna grab some of this right here, some diced ham. This is water added, right? So we're gonna grab this right here and get it opened. Take some of that ham, right? Oh man, you can use as much as you want. You can use a cup or so worth of the ham. Oh, and by the way, that's fully cooked ham that I bought. So make sure your ham is fully cooked. Put the ham up in there, right? We're gonna go with this right here. Now, if you got some leftover chicken, I guess that'll work too, as long as it's already cooked. This is a fully cooked rotisserie chicken. You can go with that too, if you want. I ain't gonna use all this. I'm gonna have some leftovers for something else. But we're just gonna go ahead and cut ourselves up a few cups worth of this rotisserie fully cooked chicken. All right, once we got it all cut up, we're gonna go ahead and get a few cups worth of that rotisserie chicken in there. And then we're gonna, of course, mix that all in. Bam! You're gonna pull out that nine by 13, right? And then we're just gonna take our mixture, right? And just spoon it into the nine by 13 until you get it all in there and all smooth it out and even and all that excess. There it is, all smooth it over, right? And we're gonna grab some of this right here, some off the block mozzarella, right? And you know what, this is real cheese, people. You wanna use a shredder, go ahead, man. Be my guest, but I ain't got time for that, all right? We're just gonna do a little bit of cheese on top. All right, we're gonna go 350 degrees, bake Fahrenheit for 25, 30 minutes or until it's fully golden brown, cooked through, and the dough is ready to go. All ovens are different. It didn't take long at all, right? Look at this. It is, if you could just smell through that bone, right? And then we chopped some green onion, right? Just to go ahead and do a garnish with the green onion, which, you know, is optional. And would you look at that right there? Chicken cordon blue bubble up bake? Hmm. Oh, wow. If this isn't so easy, right? I'm just go you know, ahead and get myself a big piece because I got a good feeling about this. It's got everything you like in it. Yep, and yes, the dough is cooked all the way through. Right, there it is. All right, throw that on a plate. Put it right there. Yes, all right. Okay, here we go. Smells delish with that mixture in there. Look at that mixture. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that, 
dough is done. I was wondering if that would cook, and it did. Here it is, and the cheese. Bon appetit. Wow, is this ever delicious. Wow, and easy with that chicken in it, that rotisserie. Y'all need to get out there and try this.